the people of the cross. We are the people of the cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross. Good morning. This is Pastor Michael Scott from People of the Cross in Los Banos. We're located on Highway 152 coming right through the center of town where Baskin Robbins is at. We're just across the parking lot from them. We would love to invite you with open arms and freely to come and visit us sometime. Uh, see what you think. You might decide to stick around. I believe if you're looking for a church that preaches God's word and teaches the word straight from the Bible, that is what we believe and that's what we teach. We teach from King James Version of the Bible and that's what we believe. I do read others and, and what have you to get some notes and different perspectives on things. In fact, I just quoted for yesterday's saying came out of NIV. But majority of what I do is from King James Bible. That's where I believe is one of the most perfect Bibles that there is today. Not to say that others are not a good Bible. But here today, we invite you. Sunday school, Sunday morning at 945. Worship is at 1045. And we have Bible study on Wednesday night from 5 to about 615. Come down and visit us sometime. We would love to have you. Let us uh, just show you some love and teach you of God's word and let you rejoice in saying and praises to God in heaven. This morning, I'm going to be reading from John chapter, chapter 1, verse 9 through 14. It's, this is the incarnation of Jesus Christ. It says, that was the true light, which lightened every man who comes into the world. It's talking about the, there are many false lights. Jesus is only true light. If you want the true light, you have to follow God's ways, not our own ways. It also is the man, as it finds the light, will be the only one in Christ and is for every man. We can follow that light and join in with him and know that we are safe and that we're going to spend eternity with him. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. The word cannot have Christ by wisdom, the world can't, but only by revelation through Jesus Christ. He came into the, his own and his own received him not. It's talking about the Jewish people, how they rejected Jesus Christ. And as a Jewish, those are his people. And that, because of that, he has opened it up to us as Gentiles. And any other person in the world is invited and welcome to come and follow him anytime, any way. That's what Jesus has given to us. But he did not turn from his own people. He still loves them. He loves each and every person that walks on this earth. There are some he just doesn't love what they're doing. But, you know, we all make mistakes and we all can be forgiven. That's why Jesus Christ came to this earth. He came. But as many as receive him, to them gave he the power to become the son of God. And even them who believe on his name faith in christ is what he has done for us and the cross alone can make a person a son or daughter of jesus christ i'm faithful i'm so thankful to be a child of god i'm so thankful to be a man of god and i know many of you out there are also thankful but we are here today to invite those that don't know jesus to become a son or daughter a father or mother of Jesus Christ and walk their life with him. That's what this is all about. Which we were born, not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. It's talking about here, it is a free gift. Salvation is free. It costs you nothing. All you have to do is confess your sins. I want to talk to those today that don't know Jesus Christ. I want to invite you to ask him into your heart. I want you to know all you have to do is you can look into the camera here, look into your phone or your iPad, and repeat after me. Jesus, forgive me. I am a sinner. I know you not, but I confess with my mouth 
and with my heart, I asked you to forgive me. It's pure and simple when we confess with our tongue that Jesus Christ comes into our heart and we are forgiven. You know, you can pray a long prayer and things, but that is simply all you have to do is ask God to forgive you of your sins. And now your name is written down in that Lamb's Book of Life. And you have the opportunity to serve him and do his will, not our will, but his will, so you can be with him for eternity. It, says, it also says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And he and we will behold his glory. The glory of uh, the only begotten father of full grace and truth proclaims our flesh proclaims his humanity, the truth and his deity that he is God, the father, God, the son and God, the Holy Spirit. And that's all we have to do today. I want to remind you. It's very simple to become a Christian. It may be a little tougher to follow, but Jesus is there to follow all the way. I'd like to read you a little hopeful love uh, that I that I picked up along the way. I le read a lot of articles, and I find some of them so very interesting. But this went along today as to what our talk was about. It says, at the end of my mother's elderly, elderly journey, she and dad were still very much in love and shared a strong faith in Christ. Isn't that something? Still has a strong faith in Christ at our elderly age. That is something that we definitely need to make sure we are doing because our days might be numbered. But they love so much themselves, but they love God even more. My mother had devoted, had developed dementia and began to lose her memory. Of even her family, yet dad would regularly visit her and assist living and find ways to accommodate her dementia, her capacity of not understanding. For instance, he would take her some sweet water taffy, her favorite candy, and he would take it to her and she would just smile, unwrap a piece for her, and she could not do it for herself. Then as she slowly chewed the candy, dad would quietly sit with her and just hold her hand. When there is time together was over, dad beamed with a, with a wide smile and would say, I feel so much peace, so much joy spending time with her. Can you imagine how much time that God loves when you spend time with him? This is talking about love, church. She didn't understand. She didn't, uh, didn't even know. But yet he would go each and every day and spend time giving her her favorite candy, salt water cavity, and hold her hand. And peace would come over him of the joy of the love that he had for his wife. Though touched by dad's great joy in, mo in helping mom, I was more affected by the reality that he was depicting God's grace. This is God's grace when we do something such as this. Jesus was willing to humble himself to connect with us in our weakness in a reflection on Christ. John wrote the words, because flesh dwelt among us, taking a human lim limitations, he did countless acts of compassion to accommodate us in our weaknesses. Did you know anyone who might benefit from Jesus's help today? Do you know anyone? That's your commission today, to share Jesus Christ with them, to give them love that Jesus has given unto you. Accommodate love that could flow through you to them today. Love is a giving for the world's needs. Love is sharing as the spirit leads love is caring when the world cries love is compassion with christ-like eyes it makes me wilt and think of that of my mother as she laid her on her deathbed she never complained 
But I know to where she went that it was such peace. About 40 in a room singing God's praises. And she went out with a smile on her face. Today, that's what I would love to hear about you. That when you leave this earth, that you leave it with Jesus Christ in your heart. And you know where you're going. Again, this is Pastor Scott from the desk of People of the Cross Church in Los Banos, Don Pacheco, and the Baskin Robbins Center. God bless you. Have a great day. We are the people of the cross. We are the people of the cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross.